started farming Herbert Tenancy in September 1966. Most of the fields were infested with grass weeds, cooch, onion cooch, um, which were almost impossible to get rid of. Compared with the dairy farming areas, we were at a big disadvantage right then. Um, so I thought it would be much easier to move to all arable. I came here in 1991 after being at university doing an agricultural degree and uh, joined the partnership uh, with my now wife Karen and my in-laws Richard and Carol. Before there was glyphosate then it was a hugely mechanised um, system to be able to actually control the grass weeds, uh, used a lot of manpower, a lot of tractor fuel to, to actually control it um, and obviously since uh, we've had glyphosate we've managed to be able to use a lot less machinery um, and control the weeds a lot more um, easily with um, just a one single pass of the spray really. Well I think of it as a miracle substance really but the main thing of course in one pass it would kill the whole plant, uh, roots and all. So it was um, a superb advantage to agriculture. Years ago we used to have stubble burning and I don't know that we have, whether we want to go back to stubble burning but that was, uh, that was one of the things that had a, a good effect of controlling weeds in between crops but uh, um, you know, without glyphosate I'm sure there might be a demand for people to go back to something like that to be able to control weeds between the two crops. I'm fairly sure that if glyphosate was banned it would be catastrophic to the uh, industry as a whole and uh, certainly to our ability to produce crops. Um, it would just set us back years. We would be back to cultivating multiple times, still struggling to control weeds, having falling yields, um, damage to the environment, damage to uh, CO2 emissions. It, it just would be catastrophic. Soil quality has been improving the organic matter of the soil and everything um, has improved very much from the way the systems have changed. The chances are we would be going back to at the very least rotational ploughing if not ploughing before every crop to control the weeds. The organic matter content of the soil is likely to be detrimentally affected by that. I, th I think there's probably several reasons why farmers should be trusted with the chemicals that we have to use. I mean. Firstly, I think the, um, the industry is set up that um, all pesticides go through such a rigorous regime of testing before they are actually allowed onto the market. But then when it comes down to the, the actual actions of the farmer, we, we don't use any chemicals, any pesticides um, on the farm unless they're necessary because one, they're a cost to the business and why would we do that? And then obviously the way that they're used and the, the way that we're very careful using them and at the right rates um, it's, it's as safe as it possibly can be to produce good quality food. This land will be here a lot longer than I ever am. It's um, passed on from generation to generation. It's come down to, come down to us and we look forward to being able to pass it on to future generations for years to come. So it's vital that although we're trying to make a living out of it while we're here, that the actual the environment, the soil and everything else is ideally in a better situation when we leave it rather than in a worse situation. Mm -hmm.